Hey everybody, I'll be talking about RX11's updated repair assistant, and stick around as I cover some things you need to know if you plan on using repair assistant as a plugin. This weekend, I played around with the newly updated repair assistant. Over the last couple of releases, Isotope has quietly made repair assistant and RX elements a viable option for dialog editors on a budget. Let's take a quick look at it. At the top, we have two modes, voice and music. And next to that, we have the learn button to train the plugin with our audio. When we train it, the repair assistant will analyze the audio and make a suggestion for settings in four different sections. We have cleanup, which contains controls for denoise and dereverb and toggles to turn on and off, de-hum, and de-click. Next, we have the tone section, which has a control for tone and a choice of two modes, tilt and scoop, and toggles for low and high cut filters. Underneath tone is the de-clip section with controls for threshold and output gain, and we have a toggle to turn on and off the limiter. We finish up with the DS module, which has controls for shaping and threshold, and a choice between fast and slow modes. All except for the tone section have a solo mode, which allows you to listen to only what is being removed, to help you dial in your settings. Now let's take a look under the hood to see exactly what Repair Assistant is doing. If you're using RX Advanced, you have a button at the bottom that lets you open the Repair Assistant's module chain. This allows you to fine-tune its suggested settings. Let's first take a look at RX10's Repair Assistant. You can see they've cleaned up the interface and given the user more control over the main settings. This is a huge improvement for elements and standard users because you can now make some adjustments. Taking a look behind the scenes, you can see which modules the repair assistant is using. Declip, mouth declick, dehum, voice denoise, dereverb, and ds. Moving on to RX11's repair assistant, we can see that things look pretty similar with the module chain. We have declip, mouth declick, dehum, until we get here where we see that Dialog Isolate has replaced Voice Denoise and Dereverb. And then we finish up with DS and the addition of EQ. This makes Repair Assistant a lot more powerful since Voice Denoise and Dereverb weren't that great at their jobs anyway. It also means those who are on a budget can now get a stripped down version of Dialog Isolate in RX Elements. But there's a caveat. Repair Assistant is a resource hog. When I saw what was under the hood, I had dreams of replacing many of the plugins in my chain with Repair Assistant and Isotopes via. Alas, it is not meant to be, at least not yet. I set up a typical two-person interview session in Hindenburg. On each track, I inserted Repair Assistant via and a Yulian loudness meter. What I found is that my computer struggled to play back the audio with Repair Assistant and VIA on each track. The audio would get choppy and distorted when there were sections of crosstalk. I figured this might be an issue with Hindenburg since I've had this issue before, but I wanted to verify. So I set up the same session in Logic, and in Logic it just stops playing when there's crosstalk and suggested increasing the buffer size. Even with the buffer size maxed out at 1024, I couldn't get it to play back. I can run Dialog Isolate on both tracks and my regular plug-in chains without an issue. So for those wondering, I'm on an M1 Max Mac Studio, so processing power shouldn't be much of a concern. What this tells me is these modules are still meant to be run inside the RX editor. Hopefully Isotope will work on optimizing Repair Assistant, but for right now, it doesn't seem like it's going to be an option for me as a podcast editor. At least with Hindenburg, it would still play, and Logic, and possibly other DAWs, 
it simply stops and spits up an error message. It's unfortunate because the the new and improved repair assistant would be useful in so many situations. Having dialog isolate plus mouth declick, deessing, a simple EQ, and declip all in one that uses AI to give you a starting point, this is what VIA should have been. I've sent an email to Isotope's tech support to see if I can get some answers about whether this is normal and expected performance for a dialogue isolate and repair assistant. Let's see if I get any answers. But for now, I just can't recommend RX11 for anyone who will be using dialogue isolate or repair assistant as a plugin. These tools are usable and are powerful for those working within the RX editor, but the usefulness disappears if you're unable to use them as plugins because you don't have enough processing power. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.